welcome back. Now, Alta has filed a legal challenge to overturn nurses' car powership licenses. The organization on doing tax abuse says the energy regulator has failed to act in the interest of South Africa. To shed more light on this issue, Alta's legal head, Stephanie Fick, joins us now to give us more details. Stephanie, thank you, as usual, uh, for joining us here on All Angles. Um, just tell us exactly what you want the court to rule on. Just um, that NERSA should not give these licenses, or is there more? It basically boils down to a review of nurses' decision, and what we are asking for is that that decision is set aside and that um, a nurse is encouraged to, to relook at all the evidence and hopefully then come to the conclusion that the car powership IPPs should not get a generation license. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, do you feel as though NERSA, um, having not looked at all the evidence, they rushed to make this decision to give this to um, Turkey's car powership? Yes. Um, so taking into consideration that um, uh, uh, they already although that is also a, a, a case, that they were, they were given the tender. But then they needed, for example, the generation licenses. They, we all know that there's also problems with the environmental authorizations. Mm. And we firmly believe that NERSA really didn't look at all the relevant information to come to this, um, to this decision. Um, it is, this is going to cost the country in, in an excess of 200 billion rand for the next 20 years. This is the type of solution that is anywhere else was, is, is not a permanent solution. This solution um, is normally used where there's disasters. Um, and they will come into the harbors, they will uh, uh, provide a little bit of um, electricity, and then they will leave. Except in, 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 in South Africa, um, it was decided that, uh, you know, this should be a 20-year a, a contract. Um, and we firmly believe that, that um, and, and this is in our court papers, that NERSA did not take into account the fact that this is not cost effective. It is not in the best interest of South Africa to have this deal. There are other less expensive mm -hmm. ways of, of making sure that there's more electricity available on our grid. And if there is someone out there that's wondering, but sure, you know, we are stuck with load shedding and this was a, this was a solution, rest assured that not even the car power ship solution is going to be a solution for us in the foreseeable future. You know, that, that, that whole concept also takes a while in order to, to, to come to fruition. So it's not a plug and play um, a solution. Plus, we've been struggling since last year to, to, to get this done. So it's no longer this, you know, urgent procurement um, sort of scenario. Mm. So at the end, we really do believe that if NERSA took into account, you know, the, 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 the public participation, all the things that, you know, um, ARTA and so many other civil activist organizations have said, the fact that um, car power could not possibly have convinced NERSA that they will get uh, environmental authorization because mm. we all know that that's a problem. So, yeah. So, just help us understand that because, you know, with the envir environmental authorization, we understand that the um, Department of Inv Environmental Affairs has not given the go ahead. So, where does NERSA come in? Do they um, trump the decision by that department? That's, a, that's actually an extremely good question because a car power um, um, IPPs were supposed to show to NERSA that they have the ability to get all these authorizations. And remember, it's not just the, the environmental authorizations. There's an enormous amount of licenses that's still, um, that's still outstanding and then the question of the uh, power purchase agreement. But let's just look at the, um, uh, the environmental authorization. Um, you know, it was reported quite uh, widely that um, they applied for um, exemption and they, then they got it. But that was then withdrawn because the, the department then believed that this exemption was given on, on an incorrect basis. We, we also heard it was widely reported that, they, that the Green Scorpions is, 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 is looking at this. So there's, a, there's an investigation pending with regards to that exemption. And in the meantime, although they, um, they were then not granted the, the environmental authorization, and now this matter is on appeal. So if you really ask whether NERSA considered that still to be their ability exactly. to get the authorization, 
and that's what we're questioning because mm. if you are struggling to get this you, you couldn't possibly have shown that you have the ability to do this and then obviously there's this whole cost um, um, you know did nurse consider the cost implications because what I think is extremely important is that the core power should deal is directly linked to um, you know the 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 the, uh, the the gas prices in US dollars mm. and the US dollar uh, South African um, exchange rate and we are of the opinion that when this process started it was about one rand fifty per kilowatt um, hour nurses then said it that this probably increased to uh, two rand eighty um, a kilowatt hour. Um, we are of the opinion that that is now closer to five rand um, per kilowatt hour, which is, it, we, you know, all they're going to do is they're going to add that to the the consumer's bill. Um, that electricity is in future going to cost us an enormous amount. And if, if NERSA took that into consideration, they either ignored it or, um, you know, I, I, we believe that if they did take it into consideration and took a reasonable decision, they would not have got granted mm. the generation license. So then I'm trying to understand, wouldn't it have made sense then for NERSA to withdraw its approval uh, for car powership once they realised that what Car Powership said in their contract that they'd be able to get authorization from environmental affairs, etc., that that's when they go ahead. Now that you can see that they're not getting all these approvals, wouldn't it make sense then to pull back? Uh, well, yes, and, and, and that's why, you know, we have to go to court. Um, um, you know, this is an administrative decision that I think, you know, one has to, if you, if you try to put yourself in, in nurses' shoes, um, is that they are probably of the opinion, and we will have to afford them an opportunity mm. to <clears throat> oppose this application or not, or and then give their reasons why they still agree with, with their decision. But, you know, objectively, one feels like one wants to say, why hasn't they with, with withdrawn their decision? And the only conclusion one can get to is that they still believe they, they had the, 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 the ability to give them the generation licenses and that they applied their minds to all the facts. And then finally, that is why we need to go to court in order to ask the court to, um, you know, uh, put this decision by nurse aside and, and grant them an opportunity to relook at the evidence. Mm. Well, Stephanie, thank you very much. Do we know yet when this case will be heard in court? Or are we still waiting for a response? Well, unfortunately, this is a legal process. Yeah. And it's sometimes, you know, how long is a piece of thing. But hopefully we can finalize this process as soon as reasonably possible because this is in the interest mm. of, of, of our country. Mm. Um, obviously, we need to wait for, for all the parties to, to file their opposition and or not. And then answering affidavits, we also need the record in order to apply our minds because some of, you know, what also went wrong in this deal is some of it is a bit shrouded in, in there's no transparency. Um, so we also need to look at the record to see, um, you know, uh, what is what is what is going on. So from our side, you know, although we not necessarily want to go to court, we believe this is an important step mm. uh, because this deal is definitely not in the best interest of the country. But hopefully we can get to some kind of conclusion soon. And hopefully we don't find that there's anything that has to do with corruption. <laughs> Well, yes, of course. <laughs> well, thank you very much uh, for speaking to us. That is Stephanie Fick. She's the legal head at uh, the organization Undoing Tax Abuse.